What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you haven't missed me too much. I'm back and I just want to talk about the Will Smith situation a little bit, you know, give you my take. And, you know, don't take anything to say literal, it's my opinion. Relax, alright? And nobody come and slap me, please. Well, there's no risk of that because none of you are alive uh, in this room watching me. So, that's a good thing about YouTube. I'm not going to get a slap in the moment of doing what I'm doing. You don't think I'm just here, right? And I get slapped for doing my job. Chris Rock was doing his job being a comedian on stage taking a mick out of someone. Offensive joke or not, yeah, no excuse for the violence. I respect both people. It hasn't changed my opinion on Will Smith. Just he, clearly he's going through something. Um, Chris Rock was just like, wow. He could have said so much in that moment. Um, and yeah, roll the intro and I'll be back in a sec. Dear, dear God, like, Will Smith actually slapped Chris Rock. Um, and I've got a joke for you because, you know why he slapped him? Because paper beats rock every time. If you get that joke. Um, if you don't even know what rock, paper, scissors is, then get out. Unsubscribe. Um, but yeah. So now you can't make a joke. Uh, well, the world's getting more into this cancel culture, in it. Um, you know, what's allowed, what's not. Um, I don't know anymore, guys. Yes, you don't make fun of someone's illness. Um, did he know? Did he not know? Uh, it doesn't really matter, really. There's no excuse for slapping someone. Uh, I respect both people. I love both Will Smith and Chris Rock um, and everything they've done, but, like, this is just insane. Like, these famous people live in a world where, like, they think there's no consequences. And, yeah, he said sorry and all that, and, yeah. Um, there's three sides to think. Would you want to be someone that's been offended by an illness you have? Um, have you felt angry for a loved one and want to beat someone else up or slap someone? Have you told a joke and then realised you regretted it after and it was the wrong joke to make at the wrong time? You know, I think in normal society you say, look, I don't like what you're saying about this person. Stop saying it. Can we move on? And they'll, they'll be like, yeah. I they'll probably be like, yeah, I understand. You know, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. Or they'll be like, no. Um, I disagree with you, I want to say what I want and I don't care how you feel. Then, a slap is warranted, but like, well, it isn't, like, violence isn't the answer. I mean, if it was a guy hitting a woman, then they would be cancelled and they'd be gone. But they, you can't cancel Will Smith. Like, and I kind of feel sorry for Chris Rock. Was, yeah, I know, yeah, he said a bad thing. But is it, it's not that, yeah, it's distasteful, yeah. But you're a comedian on stage, presenting the Oscars, you know, and you're an actor in the front row. How do you expect not to be roasted? That's the whole nature of of a presenter or a comedian or whatever you want to call it. But you just see him after, he just lost Chris Rock. Like, he doesn't know where to look. He's like, what just happened to me? Like, yeah, and maybe he'll feel bad, yeah. Apologise, yeah, he hasn't apologised because, like... Will's done a lot of the apologising, but, like, from one standpoint, it's like Chris Rock is the, the, the villain, but there's no villain here. There's technically, oh, is Will Smith a victim? No. He just got angry, and in that Im moment of impulse, he did what he did. He didn't think, oh, this camera's watching, the world is watching. He just did it. And in normal society, when you act with that kind of violence, you can lose your job, you can lose a lot, you can lose your livelihood from from just a simple slap. But Will Smith won't. That's, you know, that's the thing, this whole facade of the Oscars, it's a big facade. Um, and all these rich people, yeah, some of them are talented. Um, yeah, it's a lot to make a movie and then, you know, Go, do all that, fair enough. 
I respect the job, but like, they live in this false reality that us normal people don't, we don't know, we don't know this life, that life. And Will Smith and his family, they've been open about a lot of things in their lives that other people maybe mock them for or disagree with. And yeah, maybe she's trying to be open about having alopecia, I don't know. Um, and, well, you know, I don't know. If you're going to be open about it, then someone making a joke about it should be... I don't, I don't know. I'm not saying you should tolerate it, no. But Will Smith was laughing. And he realised that it made his wife feel, and then realised. You know, so... Can we blame Will completely? I, I don't know. What would you have done? But think about it. On the stage it is. Like, everyone watching is different. Like, if you're at a party and someone's taking the mick out your other half, like, you might tell the other person after, like, what, what are you doing? Or they might realise, I mean, in England you'd probably join in with a joke. <laughs> you'd start laughing in your own way. No. Uh, I don't know, it's different humour. Um, but, yeah. I don't know, I just wanted to give you my take on it. At first I was, like, laughing, and then all the stuff that comes after. Because at first, you're like, oh, it's fake. It's not fake. It's not fake. <laughs> that was the first thing I realised, okay. This is real. <laughs>